Short films are different to long feature films due to the nature of the product. They can vary in length quite significantly in respect to the director's intentions for the film. The majority of the films I discovered during the research stages were five minutes at the max. There are, however, a variety of short films which have a duration of 40 minutes or more. Similarly to long length feature films, short films can be categorised as a specific genre, whether it be a drama or a horror. Although it seems best to produce a film under one specific genre, the films I discovered and analysed were not particularly conforming to conventions of that one certain genre at all times. For instance, one of the short films I was particularly drawn to, The Date, did not conform to conventions of the one genre. It was quite postmodern in relation to the story, its development and final outcome. We knew from the beginning that the short film was a silent film due to the black and white choice of editing style alongside the simple piano score. Further on into the film, a traditional romantic storyline starts to develop where the male is taking a girl out on a date for what appears to be the first time. We begin to feel comfortable with the date concept. However, the visuals differ from what we might typically expect from a romance genre due to the humour that is incorporated. An abrupt scene finalising the short film leaves you feeling slightly confused where you can't help but laugh at the short film due to the unpredictable ending. The concept of incorporating more than one genre into a short film is something I wanted to explore and use to develop my own short film idea. I could have taken a basic approach by choosing one genre to stick to, but given the freedom of genre choice, I decided to be a bit more adventurous. Because my short film is an experimental feature, Reflections does challenge many genre conventions as my film plays around with the idea of intertwining two genres together through incorporating a social realism genre within a silent film. The choice to intertwine these two genres together derived from my decision to disregard the concept of creating a story which has been played over too many times, such as a social realism representing a young girl's life as she copes with a health issue or has had a bad breakup. To me, this is boring and passive, a storyline which has been repeated far too many times. In order to stand out to an audience and to be interesting, the narrative needs to be completely different. In order to represent my media products genre conventions, it is best to split the product in half to dictate what I have conformed to. For a social realism genre, there is generally one main character where the focus for the narrative is on the development of the character's life. I conform to this principle through choosing a young female as my protagonist. Additionally, when creating a social realism which is dealing with a sensitive issue, it is important to look at the impact in which gender has upon the audience. From the research I conducted, I found that films of a social realism genre tended to opt for a young female. This common character choice is ideal because it represents the innocence needed if creating a sensitive storyline, hence why I have chosen a young female character. A young female character generally causes the audience to feel more empathy due to the stereotype of females being vulnerable and susceptible towards such storyline concepts such as abuse. Although my film does not feature an abusive storyline, it contains an issue of vulnerability. For a silent film, conventions consist of a simple piano score and for the film to have a black and white editing style. I have subverted from the black and white editing style and instead decided to keep the visuals in their raw form with minimal editing. So in regards to the editing side, I have conformed to a social realism genre more so than of a silent film. Films such as Touch have kept the short film in a natural form, which is effective in producing a product in which the audience can familiarise themselves with and therefore relate to. Reflections contains a vast majority of enigma codes in order to create an active audience. Baths is an influential character for creating a successful and interactive media product. I conform to this structure of creating Enigma through dropping subtle hints in the form of symbolism. When my storyline is based upon the idea of a young female reflecting back to a past event where she drowned, I create a symbolism between the water at the location in which the event occurred by making a connection with the character's home. This instantly causes Enigma amongst the audience as they begin to question why there are many water shots. This also helps to create a visual connection between the film and reality. Every time an individual is encountering a process themselves which involves the use of water, it will refer them back to the Reflections film. To sustain the same level of simplicity and creativity from the short film across the ancillaries, the poster also needed to raise Enigma, which I created through the concept of linking typography with design. An image of the main character looking into the location's horizon has been placed within the R, 
for reflections, in order to make the audience question who she is and what her role is within the film. In respect to the layout, I completely complied to the general conventions of where certain features are placed, such as the billing board, actors' names and so on. The same could be said for the film review. I conform to the general conventions of a similar style review with Aesthetica, as the layout of the title, subtitle and text is relatively similar. I did, however, have to subvert from the traditional four-page review layout due to our brief for the coursework 